Okay, let's uh, take a look at um, uh, finding the correlation coefficient on a uh, HP 10S scientific calculator. First off, I'm going to um, clear everything on my calculator. So I'm going to do a shift mode, and I'm going to choose three for all. So if I do three, it resets, uh, resets everything. Okay, now I want to make sure I'm in the right mode for regression. So I do a mode. Actually, I, I see it. See, it that says REG. It's in the right mode. But if I do a mode, let me do it on. There we go. And then mode. And you see the third one is regression, so I do three for regression. And then I choose one for linear. Okay, so now let's uh, enter in our data. So I'm going to uh, um, bring that up. These are our numbers we're working with. So I'll do one, comma, 12, and then M plus. And then I'll do two, comma, 31 M plus then I'll do 3 comma 45 M plus then I'll do 4 comma 46 M plus then I'll do 5 comma 51 M plus and then I'll do 6 comma 55 M plus and then 7 comma 73 and then M plus and it comes up and tells us that we got N is equal to 7 so we got 7 pairs which is um what I just entered so that's kind of a check right there um, the previous time I created this video I didn't clear my list and I this came up and told me there was 13. So I had six left over from a, a prior attempt. Um, so that's kind of a check. Okay, now that we got that entered in, we want to choose the S variable. So I'm going to do a shift and then two to access S variable. And you see across top, if you want to find the mean, that, and so forth. If I do a right arrow key, we see a change. And I do another right arrow key. Uh, eventually you see that there's an R here. So to access R, we put in 3, and then you're going to do an equals. And uh, that's going to give you your R. So 0.9675. And write that down. Get my microphone out of the way. Okay, so we got R is equal to 0.9675 and that's how you find the correlation coefficient on HP 10S uh, scientific calculator